Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking you through a upper body workout where I'm following my powerlifting program. So I have been following powerlifting, like a powerlifting program since like October, November-ish, but I was only doing legs because I... I love training upper body, but the past couple years I haven't really been training much chest because I have pecs already and I wanted to spend more time training like shoulders and back and legs. So I was like, you know what, if something can be neglected, it's chest. But then I was just loving powerlifting so much so far for legs, so I was like, I'm gonna start the upper body. And what I didn't even realize is that like powerlifting benching is like not even that chesty. Like, <laughs> like I feel it so much in my like shoulders and my triceps, like which is exactly what I want to be working on. I hate my triceps. Well, okay, no, you should not be starting powerlifting because you hate yourself. But I'm just saying, like I feel like my triceps are always an area that's like kind of lacking. So yes, I have been loving this. I wish I started sooner because I haven't done much chest I have like the newbie gains going on and it's like every time I work out it's I've only done like three I think no four I've only done like three or four of these bench days so far and like every single time I PR because it's like brand new like obviously that's not gonna happen forever but it's just like so fun I'm like ah! so yes as usual the workout will be written in the description below let's go to the gym Okay, so I started off this workout with four floor presses, working up to a heavy single. Now, this is the first time I've ever done a floor press. Oh my god, it's so hard to say. This is the first time I've ever done a floor press, so if it looks a little wonky, that is why. Here I am, just kind of slowly working up to what I what my max would be since I have no I had no idea what it would be. So, here I am doing this weight and it felt like crazy hard. So, that's 105, but I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure I can do this weight. So I tried it again and then I got it. And then I was like, you know what? I feel like I could do more. So now here I am doing 115. And as you will see in a second, I did it. So it just goes to show that like, sometimes if you fail a lift, as long as you know you're not gonna hurt yourself, you can try it again. Cause for me personally, I kind of get like psyched up and I get like all scared and my mind goes blank. And then I just like drop the weight. Well, not drop the weight, but I'm just like, ah, oh, I can't do it. And then I stop and I'm like, no, no, you can. And then I do it again. And then I sometimes do it. <laughs> Here I am now. I was like, if I did 115, I should be able to do 120. But, um. Yeah, no, I didn't. And as you can see, um, I have like a little face of shame, like a little glance around like, oh, did anyone see that? Even though there was only one other person in the gym. But yeah, um, I, so now I'm doing 80% of that max for three reps, which actually felt hard as well. Usually once I drop down to like 80%, I'm like, oh, it's not too bad. But no, nope, this, this was pretty hard for me because I'm still getting used to like the whole benching thing. So... Yeah, but I actually thoroughly enjoyed doing this movement. Okay, so now I am doing 85% of my bench one rep max, which is actually 110. So obviously it's going up so rapidly right now because I'm still new at benching because I don't think a floor press should, I don't think I should be able to floor press more than I can bench press. But anyways, I, as of right now, that is what I can do. So this is my AMRAP, so as many reps as possible. And I did six, I think. And it was really hard. So now I'm doing my accessories. So these are lateral raises. I love, love, love lateral raises. Like, they're just like, working the sides of your delts is just like, it just helps them look very aesthetic and nicely rounded. So yeah, you wanna make sure you're raising your arms up so they're parallel to the floor and keeping a slight bend at your elbow. I think it's pretty common for people to keep their arms straight and raise up too high. So make sure you don't do that. And then now I'm doing skull crushers. I superset the two exercises. Skull crushers, make sure only your elbow down is moving. So your upper arm, so your tricep area, that should be staying as still as possible. So you can properly isolate the muscle and also try and make the movement controlled. Don't be like slamming the weights back and forth. Otherwise you might actually crush your skull. And then next superset is rear flies. Again, I love doing rear delts. Rear delts and the sides of my shoulders are just like 
my favorite. So here I am doing a standing variation on the machine, which I really love just because of the angle. It just feels very right. <laughs> so dance that I'm doing there. And then I'm going to superset that with another tricep exercise. And that is rope pull downs. So just like the skull crushers, you're making sure your upper arm stays fixed in one position. So when you're coming back up from the bottom, you don't let your whole upper arm come along up with it. You keep it pinned to your side. So I'm, I'm doing quite a little a lot of tricep exercises because it's supposed to increase my strength for benching um, at some point I might have to add some extra pressing in there but right now I'm kind of like bridging the gap between wanting aesthetics and wanting strength so I'm like let me just still do a lot of side lateral things and rear flies and then maybe one day we'll we'll progress so yeah now I'm doing upright rows another exercise that works the side of your shoulders so another staple in my routine so this is like similar angling to lateral raises so you want to make sure your upper arm is parallel to the floor I pay more attention to that as opposed to how how high up the bar is going I just focus on making sure that I'm feeling a squeeze in the side of my shoulders and then I superset this with overhead dumbbell extensions make sure you're completely straightening your arms up for these and then lowering down you want to make sure you're getting a good range of motion and same thing as the other tricep exercises don't overly swing your upper arm around too much otherwise your tricep will not be working as much Okay, so now we're doing face pulls. I love face pulls. And I'm, you can do these at a lot of different angles. I'm kind of doing them with the cable almost, it's kind of like chest height, maybe a smidge lower. And you always want to make sure you're kind of bending your legs and staying braced with this, because unless you're doing a weight that's way too light, if you're not bending your legs and staying braced, it's gonna like pull you forward. So that's what you're doing. And then I superset this with tricep kickbacks. And this is a really good like little isolation tricep exercise move. Just like everything else, we're keeping our upper arm fixed in one position and then just straightening up the forearm so the tricep is isolated. And you always wanna make sure your back is straight. Don't let your shoulders round in this. Okay, so finishing off with our last superset, this is side to front raises, um, another one that I love. <laughs> Every workout in this exercise I just love. So side to front raises, um, so you're raising up to the side and then to the front and then back down and then you repeat. So for this, you won't be able to do as much weight as you do for lateral raises because they're harder because you're spending more time with your arms under tension. Oh, I'm squeezing out the last rep. Look at that. Oh, squeezing out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, she's done. Okay, and now I'm doing dumbbell rear flies. So they kind of look, I think when you're new, it's really easy to kind of like mix up these with lateral raises. So for these, you're bending forward and you're almost like picturing making a W with your arms and then just squeezing back but again you're not going back too far because you're really just trying to work the rear delt so that is like the back of your shoulder very nice little muscle there guys and that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed the workout please like and subscribe if you did and i will see you guys in the next one bye